Welcome to my tutorial on how I uh, tie ribbon around my plushies. You're going to need ribbon, uh, some sort of either embroidery floss, or uh, let's see, quilting thread. I prefer this thicker quilting thread because it's harder to break, but I don't have any in the color I'm going to be using. So I went with the closest color I've got, this emerald green. And then you're going to need scissors and a thread needle. So I'll be using this smaller thread needle. You'll need a lighter to finish off the ribbon and pins to hold the ribbon in place while you sew. So I'm going to, he has kind of a fat tail, so he's gonna sit at an angle, but that actually might work out best for the tutorial. So I use washi tape to keep my ribbon down like that. So make sure my ribbon's even in the back. Pull it. Make sure these two are even. I got enough space. Okay. Just leave those for a second. Put my ribbon back on the spool. Washi tape it down. All right, let's see if I can use this ribbon to keep my hair steady while we do this tutorial. All right, so we've got two halves that are even length. I'm gonna pull the left side a little bit longer. Tie once around the neck. Sorry if you can hear my neighbors, they decided to let the Harlem Globetrotters practice upstairs. So you want shiny side up, this one's okay to have the matte side down. I'm gonna grab a pin, pin it in line with the nose for now, while I pull my thread. Somehow just got one, <laughs> see it's all pulling over there, but this is actually fine. So I'm just gonna take this one piece of thread from my embroidery floss, let me throw that over there, before I lose that, because I like this color. And then, take my regular needle. It's got a pretty wide eye, so I don't have to do anything special to get it thread through. You can see the, I know it's hard to see, but you can kind of see how wide the eye is. Maybe I do need to do something special. No, there we go. So I just have a, a normal amount of thread, pretty small, not anything too terrible. Put that aside, we don't need to use it quite yet, but we will need to use it in a second. So we're gonna wanna wrap this shiny side around your finger, take the long side, put it around like that. Let me do that one more time for you. So you're gonna take the long side, this side wrapped around your finger, oops, wrapped around your finger, Put that into this. All right, so it looks like this so far. I'm gonna loosen this up a little bit because this and straighten it out. So this is where we wanna put the next loop. So I'm gonna fold it over like a ribbon loop. Pull this up a little bit. So close. There we go. Pull these a little. You just keep pulling these tighter, smaller, and as you pull the neck smaller. Now before I go too deep into this, I'm gonna pull this stitch or uh, this pin out. Okay, let's try to twist this ribbon so the shiny sides up. Every time you pull these, it's gonna make them a little bit looser. Ooh. Now it's moving around. There we go. Okay, so you see we've got a bow going on there. It's pretty, you just gotta fiddle with it. Practice a little bit. Now I'm going to take a pin straight through the center in the neck. Try to flatten out these pieces as much as possible. I 
pin them a little bit lower than where I'm going to sew them in place because I'm going to cut this part off anyway so I won't create any holes in my ribbon that is unnecessary. Make sure these two are the same size. This one needs to be a bit shorter. It's a little bit easier for me normally because I'm looking dead on, but right now I'm looking at an angle. So, looks like that right now. I love this green ribbon, so gorgeous. This is an orange pair, but it kind of looks brown on camera. But this orange and this green look so cute together. All right, now is where you're gonna take your thread. Thread, you wanna find like a large hole off to the side where you're not gonna lose it, but it's not gonna be in your way. Now on these bigger ones, it's kinda hard because you gotta travel a longer distance with a shorter needle. So I go right underneath the ribbon first so I don't have to use so much pressure trying to come out of the bear. Oh, sorry. Having to use my belly for this. All right, and then I'm gonna take my needle underneath the ribbon. Make sure it's not about to do what I'm gonna do and go around the ribbon like that. You wanna make sure it's ooh, leaving a tail here. Now you can pull through this pin. I'll pull this pin out. All right, so we've got that. I'm gonna go back in. Ooh. And out through. Like the bear a little bit. Body over here. Make sure not to stab yourself, please. What happened here? Oh, I see. Okay, so I've accidentally wrapped this around this big ribbon. There we go. Okay. So it should just have, ooh. <laughs> These are so hard to get to keep in place on my first thread. This one little stitch right here on the ribbon. So I'm gonna flip it upside down so it's a little easier for me to work with. Go back underneath the neck without the pin, it's a little bit easier to go through. Pull through. And this one should not be pulling anymore. One more time, through the ribbon, into the neck, out a larger hole, to my fingernail, push the bit, yeah. We got weak hands, maybe pliers might be necessary for you. I have not needed them yet. There's two stitches there holding the ribbon in place. I like to do three just to be safe, to make sure kids don't yank it off. Okay. Do our third. And this one will come down and go off to this side again. This is going nowhere. Perfect. So now, you just <laughs> see. Make sure this one lays flat where I want it. I'm gonna go in underneath this ribbon. Press this a little bit flat with my fingers. Oop. going through that fold. Pressing down. And I'm going to come between the two centers here because I want to make sure that they're even before I come through this other side of the ribbon. Pull this one back a bit. Take this one out. We don't need it anymore. See, they kind of leave that on there. That's why I go lower. 
than I would prefer to be. It kind of keeps it in place with the shiny side up. This one, I'm gonna take this pin out, just kind of flatten it a bit with my thumb. Grab the needle, come up kind of close to the ribbon. The actual bow, I mean. And then go back down. Now, let's see how this looks before I tie off. Alright, that looks pretty good to me. This one could come down a bit. I think I'm going to do one more stitch on this side. Just to make sure my ribbon stays exactly where I want it. Okay, so I'm right here. Let's do this. Bring it over here to my starting tail. Pull the needle through. All right, and then I'll do take a long side and just do a simple knot. One, switch the threads. Simple knot. Switch the threads. Simple knot. There we go. Then I'll cut kind of short those in my scrap jar. <laughs> Take my scissors and push the ends into the plushie. Oh. These little ones take a minute. And I'm sorry that there's some stuffy uh, stuffing around on the bear, but I cannot find my lint roller after moving, but it will not be happening again once I find it. So now we've got these two long tails on the bear. I cut a lot of excess just to make sure because it's easier to tie the bow with a little bit of excess ribbon. So this part is easier now. You can tie it or fold it in half. And okay, so let's do this. Fold it in half. Depending on how long you want your ribbon, I like mine a little bit long. Go at an angle. And it looks like that. So cute. And then I like to take the other one, match it up with this one. Let's see. Let's fold it. That's already kind of wonky. And then I'll take the edge. So that's exactly where I want it to end, right at the tip of my fingernail. So I'm going to cut there. Fix my ribbon. And that's what it looks like. Um, let me put my pin away. Didn't realize there was a pin sitting there. Now the last step is the lighter to finish off your ribbon. So I'll make sure it's not too close. I have some random green threads on here, probably from the ribbon, but not too close. Really quick. Don't leave it there too long. If you need to do a second pass, let it cool for a second. Because I see I got right here, but not really on the edge and not really on the left side. So I want to go in really quick and make sure I got both of these points. And now it looks like that. Let's do the same thing on this one. Cool. Make sure it didn't get warped. Sometimes it curls, like this one's curling up here. So I'm going to try to bring that side in a little bit. All right, put it right there. If you don't like it, you can always recut. So I recommend starting a little bit longer than you might want. Um, in case it is a little wonky for you, you can redo it completely. I could go a little bit shorter here if I wanted to, but I kind of like the long ribbon. But this is how I tie my ribbons to my plushies. Um, hopefully that helped you, uh, and I didn't go too fast, but um, 
I hope you guys are having a happy time crafting, and I'm sure whatever you're making is beautiful. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, I appreciate your support. Bye-bye.